Dr. C. Liu, the police have established that the kidnapping was the work of a large underworld syndicate who probably intend to force Dr. Liu to work for them. The French police have contacted Dr. Liu's son, Mr. John Liu, twice world karate champion. Smith, the American karate champion. Hello. You know that John Liu is returning to Paris? You understand your instructions? Sure I do. You've hired me to make life uncomfortable for him. Right. That's your job. And you're to keep him away from his young daughter Natasha. I'll see to it. See you. Hmm. Hold it. When you've done this job, if you feel like it, then join us permanently. I'll make it worth your while. That appeal to you? Hmm. No thanks. When this job's done, I won't be working for you again. <laughs> I think he'll do the job all right. Sure, but he thinks he's only protecting John Leo's old girlfriend and his daughter because they don't want to be pestered. I reckon if he knew we were responsible for kidnapping the old man, he'd blow the whistle on us. Well, he won't find out. Now, what do you got on John Leo? Let's see. Uh, here we are. John Leo, born Hawaii, 1946, American Chinese. Master's degree, Washington State U, World Karate Champion, 1964-1967. Creator of the Zen Quanto Fighting Technique, 1969. California Police Academy Martial Arts Instructor, an armed combat advisor to the FBI in 1971. In 1973, moved to France, became Martial Arts Instructor at the Paris Police Academy in 75. He also started a number of schools in Europe teaching the Zen Quanto Technique and is currently the Chief Instructor of the European Zen Quanto Association. That's about all I got on him, Chief. I think that probably covers most of his active life up to now. 
Also, in 1975, he was mixed up in a scandal here in Paris. He apparently got involved with a young girl named Natalie Norman, who was daughter of a wealthy businessman here, American. Mr. Norman didn't like the idea too much and went after John Lear with a gun. Unfortunately, he missed and he killed Lady Catherine Roberts, a friend of his and John Leo's instead. The police tried to get Norman through a manslaughter, but they couldn't get the evidence, and the case was written off as a suicide. John Liu left Paris or Hong Kong, where he was working as a kung fu actor, and Norman's daughter gave birth to a baby girl and went off to a convent. Well, we've uh, grabbed Liu's father now, and he's going to make a fortune for us. I don't want the son poking his nose in, and if that guy Smith can't discourage him, then I've got one or two other cars up, Miss Lee. You, John Liu. Mm. We got a message for you, buddy. Don't go to Paris! <laughs> well, I go where I want. You got that? We'll see! the actual positions and who's where. Sure. Camera okay? Okay. Right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. right. Camera. Cut. Listen. Something wrong? Yeah. Hey, John. You move too fast. Right. Once more. Cut. Okay. Any problem? No problem. Hey, you there. Get up. Hey, get up. Hmm. Well, can't I take a little rest? They want you to work your goddamn ass off. 
All right, wrap it up. Right. Thanks. Hey, that's the lot, huh? Right. Come on, let's go. Tell me, when are you off to Paris? Wednesday. For how long? In fact, I don't know. Maybe I won't come back. <laughs> now listen, John. We've worked together for three years now. We've made a lot of movies as well. If you've a problem, then you tell me about it. Huh? We're pretty good friends. Maybe I could help you. It's all right. Thanks. <laughs> I'll see you. Good trip. Thanks. Hey, don't you read the papers? It's big news. That aerospace scientist who was kidnapped in Paris just last week. He was John Liu's father. Huh? But he never said a word, though. My boy, are you sure that you have to go back to Paris? Yes, teacher. It's been three years. I didn't want to disqualify you as a Zen Guando teacher, as you know. But after that scandal, I had no choice. Paris did you no good at all. I don't think you should go back there. Teacher, at that time, when all that business was in the news, I know I disgraced you and Zen Guando. I still feel so ashamed. I was supposed to have been a man who dedicated his entire life to Zen Kwan Do. And instead, I dragged the school's name in the dirt. What's more, if I'd taken your advice at the time and come back here to Hong Kong, none of that business would have happened. Uh, my boy, that's in the past. In the past. My boy, uh, tell me, why though do you have to go back to Paris now? Teacher, my folks were divorced when I was 13. And I've been refusing my father's help ever since then. I was absolutely determined I'd make it on my own. So I always said no. It was just pride and nothing more. But now he's old and it's him that needs my help. As you know, he's been kidnapped in Paris. So I really do have to go there to investigate. He's brilliant, a terrific scientist. And right now, one of the world's leading aerospace experts. I guess that's why he was kidnapped. So then, you see, I have to go back there. I really don't want to. It's a sad place for me. Mm. But still, even if you do go back, do you think that you can help him? Hmm? Well, now, I'll do my best. And I can look up some old friends, too. I still have a lot of ties in Paris. But the first thing is to see if I can help the French police in their investigations. I mean, I still have contacts with them, too. I was the martial arts instructor at the Paris Police Academy. Right. You must do what you think best, whatever it is. But still, remember that Zen Kwon Do won't be enough. You must be righteous, too, and have determination and a positive will to succeed in this. And a bit of luck will help, too. My boy, I wish you lots of that. Thank you. You take care. Goodbye. Bye. Teacher, good morning. Morning. My boy, I guess you're busy. On my police job. And Interpol, too. My days are pretty full. But still, I have two weeks vacation. Listen, you have to go to Paris for me. Paris? <laughs> Teacher, but I promised the Boy Scouts, though, I'd give him Kung Fu lessons. Just forget that. I'll arrange a substitute. Thanks, Teacher. <laughs>
seeing each other. But why, though? Why does this have to stop? Because we both come from such different worlds. <laughs> what you mean is, I'm Chinese. No. It's our ages. And our backgrounds. The cultures. They're so different. But even so, mixed marriages can work. So you know that it could work? No. I don't know. with his father's kidnapping. Yeah. Any news, come on. Tell me, sir. Come on. Have the police been able to pick up any real leads yet? Come on, now. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Mr. Liu, we hear you're making a lot of films in Hong Kong. Are you interested in making any films while you're here? Come on, now. Keep it up, Louis. Sure, sure. <laughs> Did you come back? Last night. How's Olive? Mm, she's fine. I've not seen her for a while. That's so? Mm -hmm. oh. Carry on. Right. Michelle, I have to go. I'll see you later. Right. Bye. Bye, Bye then, huh? Bye. Uh Yourself, huh? Yes, you like it? Oh, sure. It's beautiful. My husband was killed in a plane crash. So I'm alone now. I'm a martial arts instructor. Think you could teach me? Sure, I could. But still, my fees are quite expensive. <laughs> 
<laughs> no problem. <laughs> Kathy, three years. Do you love me? Yes. Uh. Today, I'm wearing the kimono you liked so much. I knew that you'd want it. And do you remember? That whenever you saw me wear it, you said I looked like a warrior. Goodbye, Kathy. And thank you for the memories that I'll never forget. And I know this, no matter what, no other woman will mean so much as you did to me. Chen Yi, from Okinawa. Been waiting for you. Your Zen Kwando is not bad. And my men in there studied it. Hmm. I see. Those were your men in there. So what do you want? <laughs> we want that you stop looking for your father and go back home. What? You're the ones who kidnapped him. Huh? Not kidnapped. <laughs> he invited. I'll invite you. Huh. Just go home, and we'll give you anything that you want. Money, 
Woman, power, shut up. You fool, I'll shut you up. <laughs> That feeling any better now? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm feeling almost grateful to the man who did it. After all, if it hadn't been for him, you wouldn't have come to see your old friend. Huh? <laughs> hey, John. Huh? Any news of your dad? No. Still, I have got a date with Captain Belmont tomorrow. It's possible he has news. Have you seen Natalie? As you probably know, she's a nun in St. Mary's convent. As for your daughter, Natalie arranged for some good friends to raise her. I hear she's fine. Yes, I know all that. I feel so bad about what's happened to Natalie. But we loved each other. And I meant her no harm. I feel so guilty about it. She's still so young. No. Maybe for her, it was the best thing that she could have done. She just couldn't face life anymore. Three years. Has it really been so long? teaching Zen Kwan Do in Paris. I would have hurt my teacher's reputation. So I went back to Hong Kong to try and start a new life there. Catherine's dead. The woman I love most has passed away. And Natalie's gone. Locked in a convent away from life. And my daughter. Growing up without parents. All of these things. Was it my fault? Or just fate? Was it? Hey, don't get upset. Now those fillings I put in are going to drop out. <laughs> <laughs> One of the few clues we have is that we found Jackie Beaumont's phone number in your father's room after he disappeared. She claims to know nothing about it, but she keeps some strange company. So we're investigating her and her brother as well. Three years ago, she was asking about my father's work. She also tried to dope me. I thought, at the time, she was after me, <laughs> that she was making a pass. It seems that I had it all wrong. <laughs> Somewhere to start. Mm. Listen. My daughter, I can arrange to have her watched. You can rest easy there. Nobody's going to harm her. I promise. Thanks, Captain. Okay. See ya.
good day, sir. Can I help you? Just looking. Of course. Thanks. We'll go for a walk. Tell me. Yeah? Where did you buy that teddy bear? Oh, we got it from the store across the road. You have children? Yes. Are they in Paris? Well, I'm Smith, American karate champion, here to protect the lady and see that nobody bothers her. And that includes you, too, all right? Now, look, I'm John Liu. I want to see her, to get some news and give this to my daughter. I'm sorry, but you can't. I'm to protect her, and I'll do that. That's my job, so nobody gets to see her. But you leave the teddy bear if you like. I'll see that she gets it. What's going on? Catherine's dead. Natalie's a nun. My father's kidnapped. Now I can't see Natalie or find out where my daughter is. I tell you, I have to see her. Give this to her, with a message. Make sure she gets it. I'll come to see her tomorrow at 9. Hold it. I don't take your orders. <laughs> Not from a two-bit Chinese martial artist. And he's so-called Zen Kwando. Shut up. Don't you insult my school. Or you'll be sorry. I promise. All right. When you come tomorrow, bring your kimono along. And I'll be very pleased to test your Chinese Kung Fu. And try out Zen Kwando. I know. Listen, could you come out and meet me, Oliver? This Smith, he used to work as bodyguard for Norman, and Natalie, of course, too. But I did hear he's been taking freelance muscle work around town. Nothing vicious, just borderline stuff. Tomorrow, I shall be challenging him. I It seems my Chinese Kung Fu 
is quite enough <laughs> for the likes of you. <laughs> you think I earned my American Championship title for nothing? Respecting my opponent whenever I fight. And in return, they should respect me. Listen, mere winning doesn't matter. What counts is that you respect yourself. Otherwise, you're not worth a damn. I warn you, don't try to go in there. And now we have a special guest here tonight. Jack Beaumont, the current European Karate Champion. Here he is now, Mr. Jack Beaumont, for a special invitation contest. He's Jackie Beaumont's brother, and he fights pretty well, too. I did hear he's working for some syndicate. And now it's the lightweight's turn. Sure, who he's working for, but his sister's in it with him, too. <laughs> what you thinking? Something on your mind? Yeah. The way things are looking, I'm gonna need all my luck. Thank you. 
I'm Lewis Pratt. From Hong Kong. Boss, Leo's here. Mm. Try to fool me. Make me believe that you're interested in me. <laughs> and why haven't you been to visit me? We were good friends, weren't we? No, we were not, Jackie. What the hell are you up to? I'm sure that you know where my father is. You... <laughs> Hold it! Right. If you're going to be stupid, But still, if you want to take your friend with you, then you're going to have to ask the champ here. Look, we're both professionals. I'm responsible for the security here. Now, your friend busts in here. That makes him an illegal trespasser. Well, right. What do you want? Tell me. Hmm. Do you remember when we were kids? both learning Kung Fu from Teacher Wan. I was an orphan. The strange boy from Okinawa. And you kids would have nothing to do with me. Jealous, because I was better. Right. Your Kung Fu was the best. But you'd a lousy temper. That's why the teacher threw you out. Hmm. So what? I'm the Japanese champion now. So let's see your Chinese Kung Fu and see if you've improved. I'm not going to fight you. Listen, I promise you this. You fight me, and I shall let you and your friend go. If not, he stays here. <laughs> All right. Wait. Before we fight, you fight then. <laughs> Not bad. Hmm. Not bad at all. All right. It's your turn. Show me just how good you can be. You ready? Sure. I'm ready. <laughs> You're not bad either. <laughs> That's a pretty fast punch you throw. Real good. Oh, God. There goes my filling. Hey! 
It's great. A combination of Japanese and Chinese expertise. Chinese friend. Would you like some more? Get up. <laughs> I'll get up, all right. I always do. Okay. Ah! <laughs> It's just like life. I mean, sometimes you're up, and sometimes you're down. Just no telling. Shut up! Guess that's enough for today. I'll see you. Hold it. Listen, you're not leaving. At least not yet. to beat my two bodyguards before you can leave. Let him go. John Liu? What? You've got Olive? Who are you? You're Jack Beaumont? Huh? To see me? Want to talk? What? The Sacre Coeur? I'll be there.
Where's Olive? Uh, hold on. Now, where is she? She's all right. Right now, she's a guest of my sister's. And you don't have to worry. She hasn't been harmed. But why do you want to kidnap her? Hmm. Right. Just name your price. What do you want? Listen. You must leave France within three days, or else both of us are in trouble. <laughs> I just came here to tell you. We released the girl. She's home. Thanks. All right. Now I owe you one. But still, you have three days to leave here. I got the wrong temperament. I don't like being pushed. Just leave me alone. You had the message. Three days to leave Paris. They didn't harm me at all. Don't worry. At least you're back. I was worried. I didn't think that they'd let me go. It's well, such a relief. <laughs> What now? Listen, you must leave France immediately. No. I can't tell you the reason, but you must leave the country. I'm sorry. Well, let's settle the argument in the old martial artist way. Fighting? Five rounds. <laughs> You're quite a fighter. Not many men can withstand my punch. You're real good. <laughs>
It's been five rounds. I make it four. Hmm? <laughs> All right. We'll save the last. Hey, Doss! Sister, they've been blackmailing me ever since I did a job for them. Threatened to put me in jail. Now, I don't know what to do. All right. I'll do whatever they want. If they'll leave you alone after that. I see. So that's it. They made your sister help kidnap my father in order to keep you out of jail. But you're a fine martial artist. Why don't you get out of here? Why don't you simply leave France? Start a new life somewhere far away where they won't find you. That's for me. I gotta find my father. Then I'll return to Hong Kong. Continue with the movie business. Maybe I'll see you one day. Perhaps. God knows what's gonna happen. What do you want? I came here to formally accept your challenge. Challenge? Huh. You know what I mean. Nobody can insult me like that. Insult? Hmm. <laughs> I don't get it. You asked me here. I never insulted you. Shut, Shut up. up. Just save your lies. You ready? Get it. Why do we have to fight? Well, you ought to know. You wrote that letter. Letter? What letter? That's enough. I'm ready. Why are we fighting? Why did you insult me? Me? Yes. I didn't. Meaningless fight is stupid. We're both professionals, so why are we doing this? Forget it. Talk later. So you got a letter. But I swear, I didn't write it. I got one too. 
with your name on it. I'll see you. Hmm. Strange. Why did Leo want to meet me here? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Wants you. I just came here to meet John Liu. I want no trouble with you guys. <laughs> Something's badly wrong. Where are we going? Let's go on board our boat. We're on vacation here. And those men won't leave us alone. They follow us and keep on making trouble for us. Hmm. I'll handle them. Oh. You go on. Just like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know Kung Fu or Karate? Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I know both. Mm, no kidding. No kidding. I know Kung Fu and Karate. But still, I have my own style. That's called Zen Kwan Do. Mm, don't know it. Bruce Lee's Kung Fu is called Jeet Kwan Do. Mm, right. Mm, that Bruce Lee is so sexy. <laughs>
Hmm. Who are you? Never mind. You don't need to know that. What is this? Hmm. You're gone for a trip in a nice submarine. like real martial artists. Why should we fight? Who's that black? Well, he's the fellow who gives me my orders. <laughs> and you call yourself a fighter? <laughs> they forced me to. Just keep fighting, or I'll kill you both. Keep going.
Zanquando isn't too bad, but I'm the European champion, and I'm better. Hmm? <laughs> Come on. Kill you! spirit always lives it never dies the Buddha can spirit can never die Ha, ha, ha. 
。红娘用的是左手鹰爪弓，我在万幸之中被师父救上了山。今日攻城下山找杀父仇人，可是到哪儿去找呢？呀！呃，孩子，我舍不得把你埋掉。我实在不舍得，孩子，孩子，我舍不得埋葬你、啊，我实在舍不得，孩子，啊、孩子。老张，他是你的什么人？呃，他是我的孙儿。病死的？不是，是被那个鬼将军给打死的。鬼将军？是啊。明朝武宗三年，奸宦刘瑾当朝，恃宠弄权，指朝士三百余人下狱，大司排除异己，其得力鹰犬姜夔，卖友求荣，杀害忠良叶家满门，仅叶子天心幸免其害，被师救出，教授武功。成年后，誓报当年血海深仇。你们就知道了。
，抓到了，来，给我啊。来吧！大人，我都到齐了，谢了，谢了。金留子，大人不必担心，这个人不出三天，必定上门送死。奇怪，这个人怎么偏来找我？是不是跟叶总兵有关系？呃，当初大人杀叶总兵的时候，是不是漏了什么人？有，有他的儿子漏了我。既然能杀了他的老子，照样也可以宰了他。这个人交给你办。是。大人放心，卑职马上部署。两位小辈查赤也难飞啊。<笑>都收获了，有什么动静？没有。奇怪，一定会来的。
人都快被杀光了，还找不着人，快搜啊！啊啊！哎呀！有人发现没有？奇怪。再来呀！走啊，快！哎。小子，你是不是叶总兵之子？你管不着，哼，那你走不了。哼，我走给你看。放肆！唱！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！掌柜的，哎，掌柜的，哎，哎，快点吧，小伙子，什么事啊？
他被他们打伤了。是你把他救回来的。哎，我总不能见死不救啊！呃，我就通知梁少爷去。好。少爷，少爷，少爷！哎呀，少爷，你快出来呀！少爷，小虎子怎么了？呃，少爷呢？什么事啊？哦，呃，出了事了，大惊小怪的。他是谁呀、啊？怎么回事啊？谁知道？我只知道他常来店里喝酒，呃，跟那批坏人打起来了，呃，半路上让我看见了。哎，他这手功夫可真棒啊！嗯，可是后来失了手，被他们抓住了，打成这样子，我就把他背回来了。哦，哥哥，嗯，你看他还有没有救啊？还有救，他中了毒。啊？幸亏我们家有化毒金风散请喝药吧。我为什么会在这儿？哦，呃，是我由树林里把你背回来的。呃，我们姑娘跟少爷已经替你上了药了。放心好了，你的伤一定会好的。呃，你首先要谢谢我们家小姐。你胡扯！以后李兄有事，只管招呼小虎子就行了。我先走了。哼，我们家少爷跟小姐是大好人呐。呃，我忘了。他们的大名是啊，呃，我们家少爷姓梁，名一波，呃，我们家小姐叫梁尚杰。嗯，我又多嘴了。嘿有什么不便吗？啊，也没有什么，呃，我还是少说的好。哎，对了，大爷，您在这儿休息会儿，我到前面去看看。啊。谢谢。混账！这么大的一个人，怎么会找不着呢？禀大人，林子里全找遍了。胡说！无论死活，都得给我找回来。滚！是是。大人不必多虑，那小子中了在下的摄魂杀，从悬崖上跌了下去，必死无疑。哼，话虽如此，可是他的尸首呢？给狗吃了。大人，请放心，这件事在下一定尽职，数日之内就有结果。卑职先告。
哭，一见面你就哭，你也不知道我心里有多烦。你说，你到底有什么伤心的？啊？你说呀！我，我想我娘。老爷，我求求你，让我回去看看我娘。好了好了，你明天就回去看你娘去吧。谢谢老爷。可是，我可要先告诉你，如果你明天回去，到时候你不回来。可别怪我心狠手辣！伯伯，哎，你就来了。哎，大哥，大哥，大哥，我回来了。谢谢你，大哥。可想死你了，好不容易你可回来了。娘，哥哥不理我。你滚！你给我滚！你为什么要对你妹妹这个样子啊？我，我没有这种妹妹。哼，去做江贼的第八个小老婆，你。住嘴！我虽然穷，可是穷的有骨气。你你简直是。简直替我们真的丢脸！娘，哼，你还有脸哭啊你？不要脸！哼，这个家有没有你都没有关系，你要不走你就留在这儿，要回江湖，一辈子不要再回来，滚！住嘴！你别听他的，别再难过了，知道吗？哥哥，我知道，我如果不回去，江老贼他会对你们下毒手的。有一天，你会知道我不是你说的那种人，孩子。娘知道你不是那种人，你哥哥他错怪了你，你千万别难过了，知道吗是我自己存那点银子，留着用吧。啊，请你代我问候少爷姑娘好。好，我走了。你，哎，孩子。铁令主有没有消息？已经五年了，大仇未报，我们怎么对得起死去的爹娘？大哥，放心吧，我们一定会找到他的。啊
，药都快凉了，快送进去吧。辛苦了，若非你兄妹俩照顾我，今天只怕我。别说了，姑娘慢走。嗯，有件事我想请问你。哦，什么事啊？刚才我在院子里散步，无意中看见你兄妹俩在练功，而且……哦，你都看见了。我是无心之过，其实也没什么。到时候你就会明白。时候不早了，你早点休息吧。你也早点休息吧。令主，这位老太婆是谁呀、啊？梁家的奶伴儿。原来梁家两兄妹躲在这儿。哼。我们回去，明天早上再来。是。这是我们姑娘亲手酿的美人醉啊，好酒，啊，我刚恢复，不能喝。哎，哎，没有关系嘛，你喝一点吧。啊，我去。啊，啊，来了。哎，请问大爷，您要点什么？随便来几样。哎，好。几十个运盐的客人呐、啊，啊，是大爷。诸位大爷是否在找一具尸体？不错。你发现了什么？也不知道是不是。死了好几天，都臭了。在哪儿？快带我去看看。
大哥，这面棋跟五年前那面棋是一样的。看样子，他来了。这回可不能让他白跑一趟。嗯。哦，李兄回来了。李兄，你我已经好多了。呃，杨兄，这面棋是铁骑令主的标记。哦，我进去休息了。姓梁的小子，出来！你的马大爷讨命来了，快点出来！找你清一清老账，想不到你自己送上门来了，嘿嘿嘿，只怕老账还没清，又添了新账。
。你是什么人？不管你马大爷的闲事。<笑>就是追风侠叶天心，好，我正要找你，我正想要领教领教你的铁骑。千秋妹，请退后一步不辞而别，赏析原谅，大恩未谢，斩杀奸贼后再图一句，叶天心顿首。我们真是睁眼的瞎子，斩杀。好，好。嗯，有了这座飞刀阵，叶天心那小子不来则已，来了必定是上门送死。就照这样设计。是。我想那小子是该来了。有路你不走，地狱无门你自抬。
终于被我捉到了。你还有什么话说呢？老贼，咱们走着瞧。是不是杀江公子的那位叶天心、嗯？是的。啊、哦，听我娘说，他与梁少爷很好。我看叶天心这次被捉，准死无疑了。我非救他不可。救叶天心？嗯。哎，对了，我倒有一个人可以帮忙救叶大侠出来。是不是你那位亲戚于三？嗯，是的，他在马房打杂，我们可以请他帮忙把叶大侠救出来。嗯，少爷，姑娘，不好了，不好了，什么事啊？叶大侠被那个老混蛋给抓去了。啊？什么？你是听谁说的？刚才馆子里来了几个江府的人，是他们说。啊？怎么办呢？哦，对了，我娘今天要到江府去看我妹妹去，哎，也许她有办法救她，说不定啊，有道理。哥哥，我们赶快去吧。少奶奶，我表哥在那儿，我过去跟他说几句话好吗？嗯。表哥，哎，好久不见了，你好吗？哎、我好，你好吗？哎哎哎。怎么？哎，有有什么事吗？啊啊，我是要来跟你帮忙的。啊、跟我帮忙？哎哎哎，好，好，好，好，好，哎。哎哎哎，帮我搬搬草。哎，表哥，有件事情我要想请你帮忙。呃，什么事儿？因为那位叶大侠被将军抓去严刑拷打，所以少奶奶要请你帮忙救他出府。啊？事成之后，少奶奶有赏。呃，救，呃，救，救他出府。这，这太危险了。万无一失，保你安全。嗯。再说那位叶大侠，他是忠良之后，我们也应该救他的。嗯，呃，好，有道理，救怎么办？哥们儿，行行行，干什么呢？啊，哎，老头关照过，哥们儿太辛苦了，呃，关照厨房里头准备点酒跟菜。啊，等着，等会儿啊，啊，哎，哎，放这儿，哎哎哎，来，咱们喝个洞吧。哎，呃，不不不，谢谢谢谢。来来来，啊，多喝几杯。来，来吃点菜。嗯，来来来，来，咱们干嘛？
家哥。哎，总管早，哎，表哥，哎，这几年衣服麻烦你给我妈送去，哎、请妈多多保重。哎，知道了，哈哈，哎，干。咦，哎哎，站住！啊。没什么东西吧？没什么，我可以走了吧？走，哎，好，驾，驾驾，驾，驾，驾，驾驾。叫你们检查的，都给我滚！哎，头，我可以走了。啊，好，走，走，驾！哎呀，好险呐！幸亏遇到了酒鬼，要不然就全完了。哎，再忍耐一点，还有一关就过去了。在那边已经检查过两次了呀，检查了也是一样，站在一边去。哎，这个，滚！啊，好，啊，走。
这差事可当得好啊！我一向器重你，想不到你也如此的无能。大人，他虽逃走，但已跌入深癌，绝无生还之理，请大人放心。哼！虽然生死不明，一点都不能放松。我们要部署天罗地网，他什么时候来，我们就什么时候将他置于死地。忘了，每天如此，他也不知道。我懒豆子啊，这这豆子不懒。你尝尝、嗯，你怎么搞的？你怎么打人呢？哎，不讲理你，你啊！哎呦，哎呦，好好，出去。哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，我不敢了，我我求求你，求求你！哎呀，哎，你别打我。大侠嘛，好，你等一等，我进去通报一声。哎呦，哎呦！
还不走？走！呀！哎哎哎先不杀你，回去告诉老贼，就说我姓叶的，马上就到。江奎那个老贼，再与恩兄恩妹长途一聚，告辞。叶大侠，范统，这么多的人，拼不过一个人。大人，他的招数跟以前大不相同了、啊。住嘴！姓叶的既然回来，我要你们把他引到栖霞岭，让他尝尝老夫的厉害。啊，是不是秋龙啊？是。两年前姓叶的小子能逃，说不定是这个臭婊子搞的鬼。追去看看。是。大人，请息怒。算了，叶大哥，你真的回来了？我还以为你死了呢。我一直都在挂念着你。去把那牌位烧了吧。对了，叶大哥，我们回去为你洗尘。好。奶奶，上哪儿去啊？果然不出大人所料，怎么回事、啊？少奶奶他们想逃走啊！哦，少奶奶想上哪儿去啊？你管不着。哦，虽然我管不着，可是我奉大人之命要请你回去，要不然，不然的话。是不是要杀我？你敢吗？我是将军的八姨太，来吧。嗯、大人
交代。如果你不随我回去的话，就杀了你。
老贼，我今天是来要你的老命。不见得吧。老贼，原来你会武功。
不过如此。爷娘，就这些，你有什么，快点都拿出来。那你就试试看。看你投降吧，不然的话，我就把他宰了。把一个女孩子当人质，你还配成武林高手吗？有种的，放开他！哼，识时务者为俊杰，我并不傻，我能放开他吗？怎么样，投降不投降？
田君。